minutes everyone. What a beautiful day we've got today. And to kick things off, nice bar of silver. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Bass, a formidable predator, that silver belly and black, greyish flank, absolutely stunning. That one was on a fish, crazy eel, paddle tail. Nice natural looking soft plastic there. So hopefully this is the first of many. Hopefully they get bigger from here. Still a nice fish to catch and in prime condition, absolutely beautiful. Slipper back. Here we are on the north coast of Cornwall, out on the Sib today, and it's stunning. Do a little panoramic quickly. Look at that. Days like today, there's nothing else to do apart from come fishing. <laughs> Gonna be focusing on the lures today, see what we can find, hopefully some bass. Over here already, maybe some pollock and wrasse, but just see what's around. Try and explain to you how I go about it. Just got my medium spinning outfit here. It's a pen slammer, great reels for salt water fishing, especially on a sib where you're getting sprayed and splashed a lot. I do survive that. I've had this one for over a year now and it's uh, not let me down. Eight foot rod, 20 to 80 grams, coming down to a fluoro carbon leader. And like I said, that's a fish. Crazy eel, starting off, working it deep. We'll try a bit of all sorts. Let's carry on. Here we are into another one. He's coming towards the boat. Not putting up much of a fight at the moment. Hey, and he's turning way. <laughs> that's not a bad fish. It's not huge, but oh, they fight well, don't they? <laughs> I don't know if you can see him there under the water. Oh, they're beautiful. There we are. It's not a monster. But it's still fun to catch. If you can, get a finger in the mouth there. No teeth, so they're not going to hurt you. Beautiful. Back he goes. They're liking this crazy eel this morning. But just on the beginning of the ebb here so the outgoing tide as you can tell it's a very very still day today hardly a breeze but a very slight one from the north late august great time of year for fishing in the full swing of summer really although there's not a lot around in terms of um mackerel and stuff at the moment i'm quite surprised a lot of smaller bait fish, the bigger stuff, the mackerel and scad seem to be a little bit absent this year. But there's still bass around. Using a smaller like, sand, sandy limitation type lure seems to be doing the trick. And when I'd normally be fishing this spot with a hard plastic, like a shallow diver, surface lure, today they seem to be switched on to the sand hills, hence the soft plastic working. I'm just working it in close to the rocks here. You can see there's a little bit of the swell washing over it, and you've got the tide moving around. Casting a lure in around structure like right behind me here is a great way for targeting bass, but uh, you are fairly restricted in what you'll catch um, bass and maybe the odd pollock. But uh, yeah, if it does switch off like it has now, the bass have moved on. Today, I have got no fish finder with me, where there would usually be one there. My striker four has died. After four years of use of good service, it's, uh, it's given up. And I'm not upset about it, because I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm very impressed with how well that unit has lasted. So I've ordered a new striker five. But until that arrives, I just have to guess what's beneath me. I know it's relatively reefy here, um, it's going to be, isn't it, when you're close to close to structure like here behind me. I know I'm in about 20 metres of water, so I want about 40 to 60 grams of weight to get me down. I'm going in with a fish black minnow here, number four, with a 40 gram head, nice blue and silver body. I'm just going to let that sink down. Targeting more now, pollock, we still pick up bass, 
a rasp, but really be nice to get a pollock or anything really. I'm sure you stand a good chance of some rasp, but you will still get bass just in this sort of method. Oh, it's off the bottom. You'll still get bass. It's a very, very effective method. But often you'll find that they're closer in around the structure than in the deep waters where you're more likely to get pollock. Just let that lure down. You'll see it at the bottom. You can feel it sometimes more often than not. You'll just see the line go slap. Especially if you're using braid, it's a very good, very good indicator of the line goes slap that you've either hit a fish or the bottom. And then I'm just bouncing it. A few turns every now and then. Just vary the depth that lures works. Feeling for any bites. Well, there we go, into a fish on the bumped fish black minnow on the bottom. Ah, that's a lovely bass, that is. Hey, hey. <laughs> You'll notice there that I've changed colour ah. to the uh, Charteris green or lime bar, as some people like to call it. And there we go, that bass has just nailed it on the bottom there. Beautiful fish, as you can see, <sighs> on that black minnow there. Just bumped along. Let's do a quick measure of a... I'll make that 46 on the dot. I'll just slip my finger in there. And control the fish then, like that. So I've got a sharp plate here finger is there and obviously lots of spines and just sticking your finger in that spot there keeps keeps you out of harm's way you can control the fish whilst I'm hooking it we just slip that hook out there so this is a nice fish well within keeping size but ah, I'm gonna let this one go Yeah, I'll try and give you an underwater view of it. Good stuff. Not a bad start to the day. A few nice fish. Let's see if we can get some more. Now, as much as I'd like to stay and fish this area all day, I can't, the wind's starting to pick up now from the, uh, from the east, northeast. And uh, I'm in the, in the lee of it here behind these rocks. And I can feel it picking up and I can see it's a slight stir starting on the surface. And as that wind picks up, it's gonna increase more and more. And uh, although these said will take it, it's just gonna be a bit uncomfortable. So I'm gonna start heading back towards from where I launched. There's a few different reefy marks along the way. I'll give them a try. I expect they'll hold less bass, but more chance of perhaps pollock and rasp. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. But, been a good few hours here. A few fish to the boat. Let's see if we can get some more. Well, as you can probably see in here, the wind has picked up quite a bit. And you'll notice there's a little bit of surface chop here created by the wind blowing across. This morning it was flat calm, but it's picked up quite a bit already. Now, it can be slightly uncomfortable in a sieve going through this wind sea. You're bouncing around a lot, you're getting splashed. It can be quite, quite uh, spine jolting at times. The key is to keep your speed just above plating if you can. The slower you go, the more comfortable it will be generally. You want to be just on that plane that you should ride along quite nicely. You're going to bounce around and you're going to get wet, but it's the best way to do it. As I am right now. And we're just pushing along, riding over the worst of that shot. If I go much faster, it's going to really start banging. And if I go any slower, then I'm not going to make much ground 
we're going to be in the peaks, over the peaks and in the troughs. So keep this sort of speed just above planing, we're doing about 30, 40 knots and it pushes us along easily. We've got about half a mile to go to the next bit of reef to see what it's like is in there. We come to another patch of reef now guys and this is what you're looking for big bit of lump of rock here and some little ones sticking just off of it the smith saruna 110 mil blast that out towards that structure over there and then just a simple retrieve and wait for that take a good pair of polarized glasses will help you see the fish following it and what you want to do is you want to get those bass competing for the lure that's when they'll hit best. Wind has picked up quite a bit, but we're in quite a sheltered spot here. So it's gonna make it comfortable to fish. <laughs> Getting back on the other hand, that might be a bit more interesting. A lovely bit of reef in front of me here though. Prime, prime bass territory this. I mean, if you want to catch bass, this is the sort of venue you want to be fishing. Lots of structure, a good bit of tide movement, and a little bit of chop, and you'll find the fish. There we are, we're in, we're in. Ah, it's got to be a bass. <laughs> it's pulling well. So I can that drag off because I've got it really tight. In. <laughs> <laughs> there they go otherwise it'll pull the hook hey what a lovely fish Whoa. <laughs> put the brakes on a bit there yes just coming around that corner there the edge bit of the reef oh <laughs> i think this is a nice one guys i think this is a nice one here we go Beautiful fish. It's right on the on the single hook there. Let's get her into the net. Ah. That is a stunning bow there. Stunning, stunning bar of silver. Ah. Absolutely chuffed a bit with that. Let's get her out there on top of the core box there. She might flip out a bit. Oh, put the net down and as you can see there that was on the uh, fish power tail in a nice green pattern that's a lovely size fish just flip the hook out we're going to get this fish back guys I've already got one on the table that's a lovely eaten size fish there right there really respectable fish I'm going to get a quick picture with her and then we'll send her on our way. Fantastic stuff. Whoa, it's just fishing cast at the moment, guys. I'm absolutely loving it. I hope you're enjoying it too. Great fun on the spinning gear here in Cornwall. Whee! There's just loads of bass. I can see them following. That's what you want. You want to get them competing for the lure. And then they don't mess about. There we are. Whoa! That's another nice fish there. I'm just going to pop off what I expect. He's only, only just hanging on. Uh, finger in the gill. That single pops out nicely. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Back it goes. Let's see how long it takes us to get another. Can we do it on this cast? I expect we can. Right in amongst the structure. That power tail is a nice sort of hybrid between a metal and a hard plastic. There we are, another drop. Just letting it drop there in the water. Another good fish. They fight so well. It's running towards me, it's gonna take a turn in a minute. Come on, the wrong way. It's coming towards me. Look. Turning, isn't it? 
did I say? <laughs> yeah, another, another similar size. Try and do the exact same. And they bear their gills up. Take that as an opportunity to stick your finger in. Pop it out with a quick measure, just so we know the sort of average size that we're getting. 44, that is about there. Do that really. Right, there we are, back it goes. By all means, keep a fish or two when it's like this. Follow the rules for sizes and bag limits, but don't need to keep loads. It's great fun to catch them and put them back. Telling you guys, when the bass have been like they are today, you don't need to go fancy. Here you know, I've got on an Abu Toby. This is 20 grams, nice blue and silver colour pattern. Really basic old school metal. And that will do the job nicely. It doesn't matter so much if it gets roughed up. And it's like this, fishing with things like black minnows and stuff. They become expensive because the bass will just destroy them. There you go. That's just a straight retrieve there. Oh, not a bad fish that. That feels like a bit of a lump. Hey, smash those tobies. Nice simple lure. Real erratic wobbling action. This looks like a nice fish. This looks like a nice fish. <laughs> There's a big shoal of them underneath them. <laughs> yes. Oh. Tell you what, I'm having a great time. <sighs> Lost my foot a bit there. Right. And the hook holds quite nice on them. What I'm going to do, reach in, grab them in the gill if I can. Come on. Work with me. There we are. Keep your finger away from that hook. There we are, no longer than a few seconds in hand, back in the water, safe. I bet we can do it again, right on the edge of that rock line. See, it doesn't matter really what you're fishing with, it's where you are. I've seen boats around me, and they're just a little bit off, and they're not catching. And also, I say forget the soft plastics, stick with metals and hard plastics when it's like this. That nice erratic action will get the fish competing. Don't need, you know, they they'll be brave. They're not scared of a um, of a noisy lure when it's like this. Just getting right in close to this structure, proving to pay off big time. Yep, there we go. Another one. <laughs> a little bit of a fight at the end. Apart from that, this one was quite complying. Right, you know the drill by now. Finger in the gill if you can. There we go. Finger in the gill. Pop it out. Back he goes. And that's it, we're at the end of another fantastic day on the water. Some great fishing today, but the bass were just absolutely on fire. They were feeding really hard and there was a lot of them and it doesn't get much better than that in my books. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. And hopefully um, you guys have learned a little bit, a little bit of an insight into how I go about targeting them and fishing for them. And I do think it's an effective way. Um, and thank you as always for watching. I really, really appreciate any support. The likes, comments, and subscribes do it all because, yeah, it makes me want to make more videos. There's a bit of a weight coming here, so I'm just going to get a bit wobbly. Ooh. <laughs>
but uh yeah thank you very much for watching and uh i know it's been a little while since i've uploaded so you have to excuse me for that i haven't been out fishing much to my uh to my disgust but i'm back fishing and hopefully i'll have a new fish finder right there soon <laughs> right i'll see you on the next one guys cheers